Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is all over the world. My name is Chris Will, Jimmy um, Richard. Today, being the 6th of November 2019, is Remembrance Day of late General Philip F. Young, uh, General of the Post Army, who led the Biafran soldiers to surrender in Lagos to, in order to uh, save the Easterners from massive starvation then. Philip Pefion was a great icon whose legacy we are supposed to follow, especially those from the Aquaibon and Cross River Isaacs. Uh, he exhibited a sense of maturity and humility when he accepted when he left the Nigerian army and accepted to work with General uh, Mewoju, not considering the fact that he was a major because then the highest ranking the military rank in the Nigerian army as of 1966 was a uh, major general. While uh, Philip Fion was the highest, the most senior officer from the Eastern region, being the major general. And he humbled himself to come down to the east during the first military coup to go up to the Jupiter. We adore him, and uh, the reason why he surrendered was to was because he couldn't withstand the starvation and the, the massive destruction of life of our people. Today we remember him, we we'll continue to remember him, and we we'll continue to adore him for his efforts. Thank you very much. I remain your sincerely grateful to Prince William Chief of the Region. I would like, therefore, to take this opportunity to say that I, Major General Philip Ephium, Officer administering the government of the Republic of Biafra now wish to make the following declaration. That we affirm we are loyal Nigerian citizens and accept the authority of the Federal Military Government of Nigeria. That we accept the existing administrative and political structure of the Federation of Nigeria. That any future constitutional arrangement will be worked out by representatives of the people of Nigeria that the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Oh, Biafra, why you delay? Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Oh, Biafra, why you delay? Philip of Yon was the first vice president and the second president of the now defunct Republic of Biafra during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967-1970. Early life, born in Ibiano Ibom in present-day Akwara Ibom State, Nigeria on the 18th of November 1925. Philip Effing joined the Nigerian Armed Forces on 28 July 1945. He quickly rose through the ranks until on the 11th of January 1956 he received the Queen's Commission following his officer cadet training at Eton Hall in Chester. England later commissioned him for duty in the Rhine, West Germany. He was then transferred to the Nigeria Army Ordnance Corps, then to England for further training after a peacekeeping stint in the Republic of Congo in 1961. He was Nigeria's first director of ordnance. His son is his namesake. 
Biafra. A film became chief of general staff of Biafra under head of state Odomeguoyuku during the Nigeria-Biafra War. The tactics of the Nigerian military during the war included economic blockade and deliberate destruction of agricultural land. Even before the war, the area was net importer of food, depending on income from its oil fields to feed its populace, with the blockade cutting off oil revenue and agricultural destruction reducing food production. The result was mass dislocation and starvation of the populace. Two to three million people are thought to have died in the conflict, mostly through starvation and illness. When Biafra's military resistance collapsed, Oyukwu fled to Côte d'Ivoire. Effing became Biafra head of state. A film assumed leadership in this situation of turmoil, starvation, and collapse. He became head of state of Biafra on the 8th of January 1970 and on the 12th of January announced surrender. Effing's speech to Gowan. On January 15, 1970 at Doden Barracks in Lagos, in the presence of General Gowan, Effing announced the end of the Biafran conflict.